Yes, it's pretty much the longest relationship, including girls, <laughs> is a relationship with Jackson. The first real pro guitar that I ever bought was a Jackson. When I first actually spent money on a good, solid guitar, expensive guitar, it was a Jackson. I lived in Hawaii. I started to make records for the first time. My band was starting to like get sort of an underground following and and wow, this looks like we're gonna start to actually be a band and do something. I said, I, I need a real guitar, like a real world guitar. I saw a catalog or a guitar magazine which had a couple pictures of Jackson guitars. Somebody told me this is the real guitar. Jackson is the real deal. If you wanna like get into the real world, you get one of these. And I saved enough money to buy this guitar. If I remember, it was like 1,300 bucks or something like that, which back then was a lot. Played it for years, played it in this band Hawaii, played it in uh, my next band Cacophony, and a lot of the stuff when I joined Megadeth was done on that Jackson that I bought in Hawaii. I started with Jackson before I even had any kind of dreams of being endorsed by anybody. Just wanted to play the guitar. I've had a lot of guitars in my career, this is no secret. When I joined Megadeth, it was like, the Jackson guitar would be perfect for this band. And then I started to have a relationship with the people at Jackson, the company. Why I'm back with Jackson now is because I have been through several companies and they all had fantastic things to offer and we did a lot of great things. I did an album called Inferno. It had just the most massive amount of guitar on this record. And when I went on tour for Inferno, I was just realizing that I needed kind of a more of a overall metal workhorse guitar. When you're playing live and you're playing really aggressive heavy stuff most of the time, I found that the Jackson suited me for that Inferno tour more than the previous guitar that I had. think metal, I mean, it's Jackson. It hasn't changed since I was a teenager. That's what led me back to them. But what was important for me, not just that I'm playing metal, they had to come up with a guitar. If I'm gonna endorse the guitar and actually say this is my guitar, it can't be just metal guitar. It's gotta be able to cover a lot of other things. Like if you notice on my albums, I mean, there may be a full, full blazing, super heavy track, but right next to it is just a super, super mushy ballad and a super sensitive, sweet, human, kind of organic type of ballad, that's gonna require a different sound that Jackson is not necessarily known for at this point. The biggest thing that I was hoping to get out of Jackson was a guitar that could cover both of those things. I mean, I know they've got the metal down. I mean, it's, that's not even a question. But can they also hang when I'm doing these quiet, sensitive, really moody, sweet melodies type of songs? That's a very important part of my playing and my music. So that was the big mountain to climb. And they climbed it with me. It was a long journey and they rocked it hard. And you'll hear on the new record.
Kelly, fantastic shape. I love it. Actually, I played the Kelly quite a bit on my new album. I love the way it looks, the way it plays. It's fantastic. And I went to this single cutaway model. It's an iconic shape. And as an accessory, you can't take a bad picture with this thing. There are some people out there who believe that particular guitar is just not metal enough, sonically, and just it has too much non-metal stigma attached to it, that there are some folks out there who might think that that guitar is not metal enough. And I've thought that on occasion, so I said, you know what, I love this shape, but how can you take this into the stratosphere? How can you make this more metal, more aggressive, more modern, something into the future. And this is the modern, heavier version of this shape of a guitar. And um, for those who want that, this is, it's done, this is it. I like to feel like I have some texture when I'm playing. I like to feel the strings. I like to feel everything. I don't like it to be like smooth and flat. And I like to grip it and play really aggressively. I need to know that there's something there because I've been playing guitar like forever that my fingers, they need to notice something's going on. If it's like really smooth and there's no frets and the strings are low, it's like I feel like I'm just playing a stick or something. It's very normal in heavy metal guitars to have the strings really low and to have a buzz on them but I can't stand that sound. I need the entire pitch of every single note on the guitar to ring. So if you have this note here and this note here, every note in between has to be perfectly ringing. So I'm like, if you can make a guitar that doesn't buzz on any of the frets at all, ever, then we're in good shape. And that's what they did. And that's why when you listen to my new record, if you listen to some of the solos on that thing, you can hear the pitch really super clear. And that comes from not having that tink, tink, tink sound from when you're playing on a fret. First thing I wanted was a pickup that didn't have any batteries in it. Not that I dislike the sound of battery pickups, I actually like the sound very much, but for paranoid people like myself, you start to think, well, is my battery like halfway dead? Am I on like eight right now and I should be on 10? And there's a sweet spot in the battery when it sounds best and it's like, fuck that. You know, <laughs> I want it to be on all the time, okay? So that's why I went with a batteryless pickup but that created challenges for them to get it to give me the sounds that I want. Of course, I want this metal sound, but I also want on the same guitar a nice warm sound that has a human element to it. And um, a lot of really heavy metal guitars and heavy metal pickups are kind of known for just being a one trick pony. They're great for metal, but if you try to do anything else, it's just tiny. You know, so that was a big thing, and the EMG pickups give you that warmth, the human organic sound so you can go back and forth to it in the same song. So those come in the guitar, the EMG Marty Friedman pickups, my first pickups ever. So I'm very happy about that. done guitars with just a kill switch, which is cool too, but uh, on this guitar I like to be able to use any combination of the pickups, so we did the three-way toggle. Even with the, in my old days in Jackson's, I had made sure that they had cool bevels on it, and this is kind of, I've never seen anything like this. You can see this a mile away, and uh, I just think it's a nice outline. It's really unique. It's uh, beveling to the max. I mean, I've never seen a bigger bevel than that. This guitar can totally hang with the ultimate aggressive of heavy, heavy, hard music aggressive playing, it's, it's just got it. 
and at the same time it can totally hang in there with really tender, sweet interpretations of melodies, of which I play a lot. And I, I actually find myself playing melodies a lot more than your typical lead guitar player. Actually to the point of being a lead vocalist on guitar at, at times. So I really have to have a guitar that can take nuances, whether they be aggressive or extremely tender and delicate. And to get that out of the same guitar is quite a challenge, you know, and I think uh, that's what we were shooting for and that's what they got. And it looks totally badass at the same time, so. That's why I like it.